Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about uh, cost and graphs and first of all what we need to know is the equation which is y equals to a cosine b plus c plus d. First of all a. a means the amplitude. b is related with the period. C is the horizontal shift. And D is the vertical shift. Here we have the equation y equals cosine of x and if we change it to 2 which is the amplitude then the graph will change uh, like this Now the period is 2 pi over b. And if in this equation we change b as 2, then change b as 2, and we cancel, and we have the period as pi. So the graph will be like this. Now for the horizontal shift, when we have x minus c, this means that it will it will move uh, to the right uh, the amount that is given as c, and when we have x plus c, this means it will move to left the amount we have as C. For the vertical shift, when we have at the end A plus D, this means it will move up and if we have a negative D, it will move down depending on what number we are given as d. Sorry, in our last but not least transformation, we have this new cosine graph. So in order to get to know what will be our period, that is when our graph from the highest point to the highest point will be so it is 2 pi divided by b in this case it will be 6 so in our graph it will be let me do it with a blue marker in order to you can see clearly it will be We're going sorry. We are not going to see when we something like this. So in here it's gonna be up, 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 up until we get to the 6 pi. In this case, our blackboard isn't, whiteboard isn't big enough. But so the graph in the half of our period is in 3, then in the other half, in the up, will be in 6 pi. Now returning 
we have our X new axis the, the normal one is, isn't moving we translate as we have a plus one here so our amplitude stays the same is no, it's two so gonna go down until number one because our amplitude stays in two so Our two cos x plus one. So now what we're gonna do is to inside x we're gonna add a plus one two. So plus three. So what our causing graph what will do is this vertical axis we have here is gonna move three units to the left. So our graph is gonna start from here. This will be our new graph. So this is the types of transformation that we have in a causing graph.